Hey guys, I'm back with a brand new video. Today's video is about me answering seven questions that you guys wrote down on our Instagram post that me because I posted up on our Instagram. So if you haven't followed our Instagram, make sure to go follow that. The link is always in the description. That's how you I'm gonna be answering seven questions. Each question I'm gonna be asking the question will be right here on the screen while I'm answering it. And um, honestly, I didn't write down who was the question being asked by someone just answered the question and if you wrote it down you should know it's your question okay so these questions are about how my Libra delivery went with Kylie so the first question is did I struggle am I struggling to sleep well honestly I am now I am not struggling OD with her because honestly she's not a bad baby she only wakes up one to two times in the in the how you say mother or whatever and she wakes up at 2 in the morning and sometimes she wakes up at 6 in the morning that's not even considered throughout the night because that's the morning already whatever but I'm not struggling with it first of all it's because my mom wakes up to the um, in the night to feed her formula because I go to school and she lets me sleep throughout the night without me having to wake up to feed my daughter so that's why I appreciate her so much because she actually helps me a lot I'm really not saying that I'm struggling with my sleeping. The first few days in the hospital, I was obviously struggling because I didn't have my mom with me. I had my boyfriend, which we was both, it was our first child. We didn't know what was wrong with the baby. We were crying. We were just yeah, like, so, so, how can you say it? You'll catch anxiety because we wouldn't even know what to do. Cause she'll cry, like I'll feed her, she'll cry. I'll change her diaper, she'll cry. Like she wouldn't go to sleep fast. And I was in so much pain. That I just it was difficult for me so in the hospital I could say that it was difficult but then when I came home since I had my parents to help me then they helped me well especially my mom she wakes up in the night to feed my daughter now that I'm going back to school she doesn't she wakes up every night so but out be those days before I enter school I'll wake up with her so to conclude I am really not struggling to sleep um, but I am used to sleeping till late and it's hard for me to wake up early to go to school now How are you handling schoolwork and your daughter? Okay, so I started going back to school um, After she turned the month so she turned the month and then she turned the month on Thursday on Thanksgiving and I went to school on Monday so honestly Me going back to school is like I'm trying to get my education like I want to do both. I want to be a mom and be in school at the same time. So I already went back to school. the way I'm handling the the schoolwork of my daughter is that, like for example, I get out. Of, I'm in a charter school, so I get out in the afternoon. She, um, I get out at 4:15. And you guys are asking where do I leave my daughter? I leave my daughter with my mom. And honestly, when I get home from school. She's sleeping because the time she sleeps usually is from 3 three to 7 or 3 to 6, depending what time she wants to wake up. So at the time I come, like, I'm not working, but, like, I'm teaching a, a little girl, and I get paid. So I get home at 4.30, and then I start teaching the little girl at 5. And then after that, I eat. Then after that, my daughter is still sleeping, so the time that she is sleeping, I do my homework and honestly it doesn't take me more than 30 minutes to do my homework because I only get like one homework every night or sometimes I don't even get homework because our school is such a long day that we get through a bunch of stuff in like one period because it's really not difficult handling schoolwork and my daughter at the same time because I do my school I do my homework basically while she's sleeping and then when she wakes up I obviously give her all my she goes back to sleep again but she's still a baby she's just, so she still eats sleep eats sleep she'll be like that till she gets a little older because obviously obviously she's still one month old has people been judging you um honestly if people are judging me i don't care because first of all they're not helping me to take care of my daughter second of all they can't say shit because you know they're not giving me shit to maintain my daughter so first of all they don't have nothing to judge me by. First of all, second of all, why? I mean, first of all, why they can't judge me is because 
I had my daughter, but I didn't put my hopes down about my education. I still want to be going to school because why? Because I want for me to give a good education to my daughter, and I want her to have a mom that actually. Blah, 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 blah. I don't give a fuck. They could continue talking because they're not giving me shit, so they could continue running them. How did it feel being a young mom? Honestly, wait, yeah, how did it feel being a young mom? Honestly, it feels wonderful. Like, I may be young and everything, but it feels wonderful to be a mom because, like, now you have somebody to look up for. Like, now I have to, to look up for my daughter, and I'll be like, oh, in school, I'll be like, oh, I could do this because. I want the best for my daughter, you know what I mean? So it feels it feels nice. Like I know I may be young, but it feels nice to have like honestly I haven't had siblings to grow up with. So she's like not only my daughter, but I feel like she's a sister to me because now she gives me company and you know. So it's honestly good to be a young mom. Mom even though many people say, Oh, that you, you lost your your how you say your ho hopeness, whatever, that you can't do the same thing as before. I obviously can't go because I don't want my daughter seeing me do those stuff but it's still it's good to be a young mom and I'm loving it did you get the epidural yes I did get the epidural it's something that I didn't want I've heard that your back hurts OD OD after you get it but honestly my back hasn't been hurting for nothing so I don't know if that's true I don't know if it hurts you right after or give birth or like years like years after you give birth but it hasn't been hurting me at all like honestly I'm good now so I mean my back hasn't been hurting but I did get the epidural but it's something that I didn't really plan to get because mine like when I just got pregnant out of her my goal was not to get that epidural I heard it's bad and that you have to be covering yourself because then your back is going to start hurting dun, 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 dun. that's why I didn't want to get it how many weeks was your daughter when she was born? Meaning how many weeks she was in when she was born. Right? Okay. So she came out out of my belly when she was 39 weeks. One week to be 40 weeks, which was considered full term. She was a full term baby, 39 weeks. Thanks to God, she was healthy. She came out weighing 8 pounds and 10 ounces. So she was, she was fat. Yes, she was chubby. So, and then she was 19 inches long, which is really not that long, but it's long. Like, have 19 inches in your stomach. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, in your, my uterus, sorry. So, <laughs> so, like, I'm gonna tell you this. When I saw her, like, when the doctors were carrying her and that was my child, I was like, did I really just have that in me? Like, that was, she was so big and so fat. I was like, that was like, in me the whole time. And I didn't even feel like my my belly was heavy or nothing. It didn't. It felt like regular me. Like it's just a stuff, a bump in front of me. That's it. But I didn't expect to have a big fat baby inside of me. So was you nervous to give birth? Wait, is that the question? Yeah. Honestly, I was so paranoid. Like every like I was already eight months going to nine, and I was like, oh my god, I'm about to pop. I might people try to get me nervous saying oh you know if you get the epidural you could stay paralyzed from your waist down that you could stay paralyzed they also said oh if something goes wrong you could die like you may lose too much blood and you may die like what the fuck what doctor is gonna tell me that like they're so stupid like oh if you get the epidural you may get paralyzed from your waist down like bitch shut up i found my legs 30 minutes later and then oh you may lose too much blood and you may die and you may need a blood transfusion whatever that thing is called thank god i didn't need i didn't need nothing of that i was just so scared i thought i was gonna die honestly i tell christian every time like oh my god i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying but yeah i was nervous i was more than nervous like i'll bite my nails thinking about it but I know it's over now. Now I have her with me. And you guys may have that I'm answering like, are you breastfeeding? Yes, I'm breastfeeding, I'm breastfeeding. And giving for me level. Now that I go to school, I pump and I leave milk. Like I need like, when I pump, I get like four ounces.
ounces four ounces like eight ounces because i don't have time to pump more so i take out eight ounces and she only drinks two ounces so she had for two bottles no for four bottles <laughs> yeah so she had for four bottles but then most of the time she gets four of them but when i'm home i actually breastfeed her so yeah i do both at the same time other question you guys may have or like guys really name your daughter so what i really named my daughter is kylie l then her father's last name which is my last name which is cabrera I'm like yeah and then other questions you might may have why did i decide to name my daughter something else was like i getting confused well honestly I, this is what i really wanted to name. i really wanted to name her kylie stormy but you know, I got the kind of daughter. I wanted to name her that, but then my friend came at me saying, "What the fuck? That she's our thornos, that this and that. That you thought you're gonna, be, you're gonna be calling her stormy a thorno." Like, then I was like, "Yeah, she's gonna be like, why the fuck you name me that when she's older?" So I just named her Kylie L. And if you guys wanna know the why I named her that, well, first of all, Christian picked out Kylie. Because he said that he likes Kylie Jenner, so I was like, okay, that name actually sounds nice. Plus, it's unique in my family because in my family, there's basically nobody with the K. And then I'm gonna be honest, like half of my family can't even pronounce her name right. They'd be like Kayla, Kyla, like that. They'd be saying that when her name is Kylie. And then her middle name is L. Uh, well, I got it from the East family's daughter because I wanted a short middle name, not a long middle name. So that's why I got it from them. And also my parents can't pronounce that. They don't say L, they say all, like, it's just these, they say it weird, but like, that's what I wanted. I, I didn't want them to like be able to pronounce it. It's not being mean, but it's just like, you know, something unique. It's not unique, but still it's unique in my family because, you know, back then there'll be Rosas, Juanas, whatever. So, yeah. That's about it for today have any more questions you want me to answer just make sure to comment down below or if you guys want me to do like a full story time of what happened when i was giving birth i could do another video of just me if you guys like videos of just me let me know you want makeup videos let me know let me know let me know let me know let me know, let me know. comment down below and i could take over this channel you never know okay guys so i'm done with this video Make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500, okay? By Christmas. Oh, and also, guys, we're going to be doing vlogmas. I see it. From December 1st to December. Depending on how many days December has. I don't know if it's 30 or 31. Is it 30 or 31? 31? Yeah, 31. So, it's going to be from December 1st to December 31st. And. We're gonna make our goal. Our goal is to actually record every single day. So if you would like to see that. Like we're trying to get some cute outfits for us. Like I haven't shown my daughter. My daughter's with her daddy right now. And I think she's sleeping. Alright guys. Make sure to like, 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 like. Whoever wants to give it a thumbs down. Give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Bye.